When we came up here, that door was not open. Oh gosh. Guy, are you sure you want to go back here? I also really feel like I just heard footsteps. Enter if you dare. We're about to hunt for ghosts in one of the most haunted hotels in Las Vegas. Will we make it out? Come along with us and find out. Opening in 1932, the historic Hotel Apache would later become a part of Binion's gambling hall. This hotel was known for several firsts in Las Vegas, including being the first carpeted casino, first air-conditioned hotel, and having the first electric elevator. Today, though, it may be best known for being extremely haunted. We're gonna go ahead and head up to room 400, which is supposed to be one of the most haunted rooms in Las Vegas. Room 400 sits by itself on the fourth floor. To get there, you have to go up its own special staircase. By 1930 standards, it was the penthouse. The only other thing up there on the fourth floor? A separate door that leads to a hallway and storage space that used to be the old count room where in the 1930s, money from the casino floor would be counted and maybe skimmed from. What makes this hotel so haunted? No one really knows specifically. But stories came out over the years from both guests and employees about their paranormal experiences they had. So much so that Binion's actually encourages their guests to write down and share those experiences with them. The hotel has also had mediums and TV shows through to investigate the property. And you start talking and asking questions of the ghosts. Prior to working at the hotel, Binion's general manager, Tim Logger, was skeptic. But now he believes in the hotel's haunts more than anyone. My arm fell off the side of the bed. All of a sudden, I felt a hand grabbing my hand and pulling it. All four pictures fell at the exact same time. The TV turned on, and it was just static. She goes, look at the waiters just standing there watching us, making sure everything's OK. The daughter says, there's nobody there. I mean, you, you, there's nobody there. The entire hotel is haunted, but room 400 specifically has had so much paranormal activity that if you book the room, you'll get a ghost hunting kit included with your stay. This device here, it detects energy. Tim showed us the ropes of the equipment and we thought we had to try it out. We're gonna go ahead and crack this thing open and see what's inside. Some instructions. This device is supposed to detect energy. A little spirit box, flashlight. Before we embarked on our paranormal journey, we had to ask Tim for some advice. He said to go in with an open mind and think of the neatest questions to ask and hopefully we'll get a response. Got my ghost hunting tools right here. I'm gonna go ahead and leave the spirit box on and we're gonna see what we find. And we're gonna go ahead and make our way to the count room, which is said to be the most haunted part of this hotel. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on. It's gonna detect if it finds any energy, which may be a ghost. So back here is where the old count room was from the 1930s and 40s. So this is where they would have counted the money back then from the casino floor. Is there a reason why you're not stepping into the room? I, well, I can, but... <laughs> <laughs> After Tim showed us the area, he left us to our own devices and made a swift exit, not wanting to spend more time than necessary in this part of the hotel. It's a really creepy app. We'll just look in inside with a flashlight. It's fine, everything's fine. Not like my coping mechanism is to make jokes or anything like that. The lights will flicker on and off, <laughs> as SpongeBob said. Oh, wait, I do do that, huh? Uh, enough with the stalling, I guess. So we're currently in the old count room. It's just got a creepy vibe in and of itself. It's just kind of a small, square room. This thing's going off, like it's constantly on. I haven't seen it light up like that since we turned it on. With that high of an energy reading, I went ahead and tried to reach out. Spirits of Binion's Hotel. My name is Meredith. We come here in peace. We mean you no harm, but we just wanted to ask you some questions if you're here. Is there anybody there? I'm not so sure if it was fortunately or unfortunately, but the spirits did not heed my calls. We may not have really had any crazy paranormal encounters on our visit, but that doesn't mean that you won't. There definitely was something creepy and felt very off about this place. Everyone has different experiences with these things, but one thing's for sure is that Binion's puts a lot of effort into giving their customers the spooky experience that they want. To learn more about Binion's and its rich history through the years, check out this video. All right, guy, I think, I think it's time to go. This place is really creeping me out. Like, seriously, it's time to go.